Hello. Welcome to the Walking Dead on at War Trade Paperback Volume 1 review. It's gonna be fun. So basically, and this one starts off with Rick waking up next to Andrea and he talks about having doubts about war and being a leader and everything and Andrea tells him, well, you know, Rick says if can't have war without casualties and then Andrea said, well, in that case, we've been at war this whole time with the undead peoples eating, right? So then you get past that and then uh, Ezekiel wakes up in Michonne's house. Ooh, they did the nasty probably. And then he wakes, they wake up and they talk and then she tells him like, this doesn't mean anything, but it might potentially mean something later on. You know, and then it cuts to uh, Eugene. They've been making bullets and ammunition and everything. So they're restock stocking up on that, getting ready to go to war. Caught all that war. Come on, it's gonna have a whole bunch of bullets and dead bodies. It's, it's gonna be great. So then Rick gives a speech, you know, a pre war speech like his brave heart. That goes over pretty well and then they go, you know, they gather everybody up, all three communities, ready to go. Jesus is there. Ezekiel's there. Uh, survivors are there. Let's go. Let's do this. Get them. You know, and then they go and they give Negan a. Uh, what's the best way to put it? They basically tell him. They give him an ultimatum, pretty much. They say, basically tell him, surrender now, and we'll let your families go and. Negan's like, okay, well, what about the others, those of us that have killed? And then Rick brings up the old. I said this, made this rule before, you kill, you die. And Negan's like, well, that's a fucking great idea. You really believe that bullshit? It's basically, you kill me and my men, and you let our families live on happily without us. And he says, I got an answer between motherfucker, hell no. Or are you uh, some? He says fuck every other sentence in this thing. I counted one, three bubbles. He said fuck five times. There's such a thing as over fucking Robert Kirkman. You lose the meaning, and then it's just another word, and it doesn't don't mean you're bad or nothing. He just got bad mouth. Says fuck too many times, and it's just like come on, man. There's one in here. I'll find it what it is exactly right so then they attack they attack take out the snipers in the buildings you know plow, plow take out snipers and they don't even like you think it's gonna be like you know civil war type of battle where you just stand off in a line and shoot at each other but that's not even the plan they just keep shooting at the snipers in the windows and you know Negan takes cover and the snipers take cover they don't kill all of them and they're just kinda like what the fuck are you doing it's what he tells them what the fuck what are they doing and then they all retreat and you're like what that what And then Negan's out there standing with the guy. I forget his name, but he's got the iron face. He's a traitor. He helped just in the last volume. He's marched to war. He trade ends with him talking to Negan or not Negan, um, Ezekiel and Jesus and Rick and how he's gonna betray. I forget his name, but you know, he fucked that one trick and they put an iron to his face and his old sweet Jesus. You do that to people just for having sex with his wife? His wife? Relations? Iron to your face? I forget his name though. But he tells him, like, what happened? Why, why did they stop? And he's like, I don't know. 
and then so that happens and then Holly says like where's Rick and you know go chase him down cause Rick's gonna drive a car through boom attack straight on attack break down your gates but then Holly knees him in the crotch and he hits the ground and Holly does it cause the guy who killed Abraham's in there and I wanna kill him cause you know I like that guy even though I helped him cheat with Rosita I still liked him that's, that's not the topic but come on you know, since your niece, she goes in there and you're like, oh, you stupid, you're messing with the plan. And then, so Nika's like, what the fuck, fucking shit, fuck, what? And then there's a whole bunch of zombies. Basically, they pick Holly off the ground, save her from a zombie. And then, you know, they're going to take her. They're going to take her. And you, you think of what I'm thinking, like, oh, she's going to become a hooker. Or something crazy. They go rape her. It's governor all over. They go rape her. You know, and then the hilltop and all the communities are like, we did it. Yeah, plan worked. And then Michonne tells, uh, she's worth Rick. And they're like, oh, he went with the plan. And you see Rick in the shadows. And they're like, oh, shit, what happened? You know, this is bad. And then Negan, they take Holly and he tells her, like, oh, we got you. Like, this end, this is what war is over. We got you, you know. This is the man that you love, you know. Vagina's the way to the man's heart, not his stomach, because, you know, you get up in one vagina enough times. With the amount of times this man says fuck, he can't say pussy once. Vagina, he's a doctor. I'm sorry if that offends you, but I'm just saying, you say the F word enough times, you can't. You don't call air the vagina, like a doctor. I'm going to put my penis inside you. He says dick later. He doesn't say penis. He says, my dick is hard. I won't wrap it in barbed wire. I'm like, dude, what the hell? Kill this man, please. That's where I'm at already. It's like, fucking kill him already, dude. Just end it. Right? So then he thinks Holly's Rick's secret secret lover. Cause I guess she kind of looks like Andrea. But he's just like, no, nah, my boobs are bigger than Andrea. So he gets pissed and they're like, oh, what are we going to do? And then, you know, the zombies, they're coming in. Look, check it out. Splash page. Boom. That's Nika's community and them zombies all down here. They're going to get ya. You know, so it's like, whoa, holy shit, you know. I keep looking down because I forget. It's a big trip paperback bigger than normal, you know. It's about halfway in it, you know. It's a lot, I'm sorry, my brain don't work so good. I need some off brain. You know, so then they think it all went good, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, the zombies gonna get them, so then they're regrouping. And Rick tells, you know, he tells, he tells Michonne, okay, take some group back to our community, because they're gonna come get us there if they're gonna do anything, which is true, you know. They even say it, um, everything was fine until Rick showed up, you know, so... Negan kind of wants to kill Rick, which is why he was going to go in, because he's not going to kill Rick. You know, he's going to kill him in front of everybody like the governor did with, um, Martinez has said. You guys remember that? I do. It's crazy. Right, so here, see? Man, that's a whole bunch of zombies. That's a good plan. I never thought of that. That's genius. Can't put this guy on TV, though. Yeah, here, see? He says... Motherfucking dick suck cunt fucking fuck fuckity fuck fucker fucking fuck fuckers fuck. I call that over fucking. It works in stand up comedy. You say fuck too many times and everybody's like, Jesus, dude, really? I know you're frustrated and you're scared that you, you're gonna lose, but come on, man. Jesus, you know? And then this creepy guy named David comes into the room where Holly is. And you see some bra. He's going to rape that nice young lady. And he's like, I'll get you some water. I'm not supposed to, but I'll get you some water. You do something you're not supposed to. And it's like, damn. You know, I'm freaking out. 
I'm freaking out, but I was like, oh damn. And then Negan comes in and is like, we don't rape, we're not monsters, we don't rape people. We're not monsters, you broke the rule. And then he cuts his head off. In front of Holly. <laughs> Dead. You know? And then Gregory shows up, because I forgot, Gregory betrayed the hilltop and was with Negan in there saying, if you're not with us, you're against us, and if, you know, if you don't go back to the hilltop right now, you're not welcome, and, um, you're not welcome, man, your family is going to be thrown out of the hilltop. And then he apologizes, because, like, five people... Eight people leave, and he's like, you said it was half, and he's like, sorry, I thought it was more. He's like, you don't even know how many people, you're the worst leader ever, dude. You don't even know how many people left your community. You're fighting a war. So then he throws them off. I just remember that, because right here, I'm using a reference, because my brain doesn't work that good. I read it in the three days, and I forget, because I was playing Dead Rising, dude. I'm sorry. You know? So then he's like, help, help, I need help, and then... They open in, they're like, what happened? And then one of the guys is like, car ran a gas from the way, we all walked. And then, you know, Maggie, Maggie, she's, she stepped up in this one, and it's like, dang, you thought she left the survivors to protect that little girl, but, whew, she did not, you know, she's like, hey. And she basically takes over, and is like, this is how you want it to be, and she punches Gregory in the face. You know, and she's like, you want this how you want it to be? You want to live the rest of your lives like this? You fight him for stay alive, and you're going to give up half your stuff? And she's like, I believe in Rick Grimes. And I'm like, you you get on that soapbox. You know, and then it cuts to Michonne coming back, and Carl's like, where's that? And then like, did we lose anybody? A little bit, and everything's fine. You know, and then... <clears throat> To survive the community, the groups are still out attacking. Um, what are they called? That's killing me. Yeah, they're out to little posts that Negan's army has. They're out there and they shoot Eric in the eye. Sad. Aaron and Eric were the only gay people left in the comic. They shot him. Sorry. You know, so then Aaron gets amped and he's like, you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna be happy until these motherfuckers are dead, you know. And then there's a little monologue going through it the whole time, and you're like, who's talking, you know? There's, you know, there's stop bubbles, and then there's little monologues, and everything's going good for Rick's group taking out that outpost. And then it shows Ezekiel, and you know, his men. Yeah, Ezekiel not a good leader either, man. His he's garbage. Rick's group went to take out the biggest, uh, most dangerous outpost, and then, you know, Ezekiel was gonna go take care, he had a tiger, you know, go take care of the, the weaker ones of the people, and he loses, like, all but five of his people, or all his people, I think five are missing, yeah, five are missing, and, uh, the rest are dead, and it's just him, even the tiger died. And it's sad, and then you see him talking to Michonne, breaking down, and she's, she says, oh, you know, what she say? So he breaks down to Michonne, talking about how he lost everybody, and his dad was never there, and his mom. And she punches him in the face! Boom! And she says, suck. If you're this much of a fucking, of a pussy, do what you do best. Act like you aren't. You know, and then they have Carl and Andrea talking about, like, oh, a couple of days, you know, my dad should be back soon. And then truck pulls up, and Carl's like, what happened? And blah, 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 you know. They have a meeting in the church again, and, like, we're going to get them. We're winning. This happened, and then they hear Ezekiel's man died, and you hear kaboom. Is that an explosion? And then it's like, what happened, you know? And then it's, it's Negan calling for Rick to talk about this. And they got grenades, throwing grenades, and that's what the fire is. And he's like, what happened? And they give him Holly with the, a sack over her face. And they're like, did you gag her? And they're like, did you gag her? And he's like, I got tired of her yapping, sue me. And then it's like, oh shit, you know what's going down? What's happening? 
She's a zombie. The Denise doctor takes a thing off her face and she's a damn zombie. And she bites Denise on the arm. And it's like, oh damn, you know, that's that's a good idea. You know, I didn't think of that either. So she bites his arm off. Not doctor. They throw more grenades. Attack. Throw grenades. Boom, boom, boom. Gets crazy. There's a battle. They're attacking. Negan is attacking. Zombies come. It gets crazy. Uh, Heath gets his leg blown off. Then he gets bit in the arm by a zombie. She takes Heath down to the thing. Carl and Andrea and Rick are trying to retreat. And they throw a grenade. They hit some. Boom. They fall. Movie style. I'm trying to wrap it up. This is going long. I apologize. Long review for just talking. But, uh. Yeah, so boom, boom, they attack with grenades, and he talks about how he got a full boner, and he wants to wrap barbed wire around his boner, and she's like, what? That's, that's good, that's gonna hurt, dude, like, and then, and then the other guy's like, I got a full boner, too. I'm excited like you are. Yeah, I'm a boner, and it's like, this is awkward and weird. But it's good. I I want to see them wrap this war up in part two, cause they end it with Carl's okay. Rick thinks he's burned. He's all right. He just don't got a leg. Um, she's crazy, dude. I'm gonna wrap it up. So, you know, Negan gets like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Retreat. Cause one of his men's like, "You know, you all retreat." And he's like, retreat? We just won this. You see fucking, you see fire trucks around? The fucking war. We just won. Smoke. You see that smoke? And I'm like, they're gonna regroup somewhere. You're gonna, you're not, you're gonna go back to where you are. You're not gonna go attack the hilltop. Or Ezekiel's kingdom. You think it's over now? It ain't over. This is only part one. It's not over. When part two comes out, I'm gonna get it, and I'll do another review like this if you guys want. You know, if you if you want me to, I don't know. It's fun. I like the comic a lot more than I like the TV show because the TV show drags stuff out too long. I already know what's gonna happen. A lot of people figured out some stuff, you know, spoilers, but you know. So yeah, like and subscribe. This, you know, stick around. I'll. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do, you know. I'm having fun. Kind of. I don't really like it. You know, I don't know. You know, like, subscribe, stick around, check it out, come back for the next one. I'll see you on the next episode.